They interview this thing. We're going to put the verdict gavel show to the test. If you haven't been with our channel very long at all, you have seen us shoot Verdict TSS loads a ton. But this year, the guys over at Verdict have developed their very own line of chokes called the Gavel Choke. So far, they have them available in 410 and 12 gauge. We have a Stevens 301 410. It's new to our channel. We haven't shot it yet. So looking forward to seeing how it does. On top, we have the Sightmark Mini Spec A, I believe. Our plan for the day, we're going to shoot the verdict ammunition with the stock choke at 20 yards. Then we're going to shoot it with the gavel at 20 yards. Then we're going to move it out to 40. And then, depending on how that looks, we may move it out to 60 just for, just for fun. Definitely looking forward to seeing how this test goes. Should be a lot of fun. So that one looks pretty good at 20 yards. We're going to go take it down, we'll count our pellets like we usually do, and then we'll switch it out and shoot that uh, gavel choke. We're shooting a little <laughs> high and left with that load. We're not going to worry about that. Let's just count our pellets. Side note, I'm pretty disappointed in these Birchwood Casey targets this year. That splatter is not near as fun and impressive as it used to be. But there are our results at 20 yards. We got... 196 in a 6 inch circle and 307 in a 10 inch circle. With that verdict ammunition and that stock choke, if you can get that bird at 20 yards, no question. So I went ahead and switched to the gavel choke. Same load out of the verdict, 20 yards. We'll do a little comparison. From here, it looks uh, tighter and more impressive. You know, we got to count it up though, so let's take a look. There we are at 20 with that gavel. When we get our numbers tallied up, which one is a, a better pattern? So let's go find out. So this is pretty interesting. Obviously, there's some, you know, subjectivity to where we put our circles. But there are quite a few more in that 6-inch circle at 223. But about the same, just a few less in a 10-inch circle. So at 20 yards, it definitely compacts it. Which we're hoping means when we get further out, there will be more in our 10-inch circle. Before we move on to 40 yards, I just want to mention if you're looking for some hearing protection and enhancement while you're turkey hunting or just shooting, we've been using Tetra Hearing for a long time. They're a great partner with us. Check out the link below. It is an affiliate link, so we'll have a small commission if you decide to purchase. And if you use our code, then you can get $100 off. So the stock choke is back in. We've pushed our target out to 40 yards. Let's go ahead and shoot our next round. Okay, let's go check it out. There we go. That's 40 yards of the stock choke, which is pretty doggone impressive too. So interested to see if that gavel's going to be better. Six inch circle 92. As we've seen in most of our other tests, if you can get a turkey within 40 yards, then you got a pretty solid chance of killing that bird, especially with the verdict. Now we've switched it back out to the gavel. Let's take our 40 yard shot with this setup. Can't tell real well from here, but let's go look. There we go, 40 yards. It's shooting a bit low out of that one, but let's count it up and see what we got. And again, the gavel has proven to create a bit more, a tighter pattern, a few more ellets in the 6-inch circle and in the 10-inch circles. You can feel pretty confident with that gavel at 40 yards. Now, just for fun, we scooted the target out to 60 yards. Definitely don't recommend shooting 60 yards with a 410, but... We shall see what we did on that paper. See what those patterns look like. Let's do it. Well, we definitely hit it. <laughs> Let's go see how many pellets are on that target. Obviously, there's a chance we could have killed him, but that's why I say I don't really recommend that shot on an actual live bird. Obviously, shot very low at 60 yards, but you got 25 and a 6 inch and 45 and a 10 inch. I wouldn't shoot that far out. Switched out to our gavel choke. Gonna aim at the same place. See how she does. Let's check her out. Pretty low again. <laughs> and the 60 yard thing was just for fun. You have to aim pretty high if you're gonna shoot at a turkey. 
slow again, but the gavel did do a better job of keeping everything more compact. You got 38 in the 6 inch and 87, so almost 100 in a 10 inch circle at 60 yards. I think that's pretty impressive. And there you have our verdict gavel choke test with the Stevens 301 4 tip. If you like this video, make sure you give us that thumbs up. Comment and let us know what you think, especially if you've been using verdict and or the gavel choke so far. And if you really like what we do and you haven't yet, please just take a second, hit subscribe, and click that bell. It really helps us out a lot. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Stevens 301 410 Gavel Choke Bird Ammunition video. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and click the notification bell. Check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and Threads.